reconciled by believing a message. Colossians 1.23 If you continue in the faith, grounded and settled, and be not moved away from the hope of the, of the gospel, which you have heard, and which was preached to every creature, which is under heaven, whereof I, Paul, am made a minister. Amen. Faith in the message of the gospel is what saves you. That's what Paul says in 1 Corinthians 15 too. The message you received saves you. If you receive that message, you have been reconciled. Your mind, in order to embrace that truth, has to cease its striving against God. To embrace that message is the power of God unto salvation. Amen. You know it's the power of God because it changed your mind. No one could change my mind, but God softened me, and I embraced the gospel. And when I did, I received the faith and the spirit, and now I'm being grounded and settled in the faith. Amen. I've never been moved away from it for 25 years. People tried to tell me it was just a phase, and I even believed it sometimes. However, I know after all these years that no matter what I've gone through in my life, all the failure and humiliation, I have not been moved away from that hope. Why? Because the Lord doesn't lose anyone who gives himself to them, or excuse me, who gives them, gives themselves to him. Amen. Anyone who comes to him, he will in no wise cast out. And of all those that the father has given to him, he has lost none. John 6, 37 and 39. Amen. I will not be moved away from the hope of the gospel. I will continue in the faith. I've seen that in my experience. I used to fear that one day I could stop believing. However, the Spirit bears witness in me. He has reconciled me to himself, made me his friend, has proved himself in my experience and shown that he is faithful. Amen. Paul is telling us here that this is a message we have heard. Don't be moved away from what you heard. This is not a lifestyle. It is not a commitment. Where you say, uh, it's not a commitment where you say, I'm going to clean up my life and live for God and live it for God. This is a message which you heard the hope of the gospel which was preached. It's a message. It's through that message when it reaches you that the power of God reaches you to bring you into the reconciling aspect of the death of Christ and present you without spot and blemish before God in his sight. And then ultimately in reality, because he's not done with you. Amen. He is going to transfigure those who he has sealed with his spirit, have received the gospel, have re repented, metanoia, have had a change of mind, and have ceased being alienated from God and, and enemies of God. They have received and believed in his testimony and have set their seal that God's testimony concerning Christ is true. John three thirty three, Amen. He really did become a man. He really did die for my sins. I really needed this because I was a sinner. I was an enemy of God. I accept that judgment. Amen. Not only that, but his blood has reconciled me to God and his resurrection really happened. He's alive today and he's available to receive today. Mm, amen. Believing in Christ is the key to becoming swept up into God's purpose. Apart from his purpose to reconcile everything in Christ, there is no purpose. There is only futility and foolishness ending in sorrow, ultimately in outer darkness. You need to be in the light by embracing Jesus Christ for what the word reveals him to be. Not just a prophet, a great teacher, a religious figure, nor a philosophical point, but as the one who has the power to reconcile you to God. Amen. 
He is the purpose for which the whole universe was created, and He is reconciling all things to God and is desiring to be expressed in His church ultimately. Amen. He can be received simply by believing the gospel. Believing the message changes your mind because the Holy Spirit operates in those words. Amen. It's a simple message that is foolishness to those seeking wisdom and weakness to those who seek power because God has hidden himself from the wise and the strong so that he can bring them to naught. 1 Corinthians 1, 25 and 28. Amen. In their wisdom, strength, they chose not to know God and therefore became foolish weaklings, which will be shown ultimately when Christ shows up in power. Meanwhile, he is reconciling those being converted to become like children and saying, Yes, Lord, remember me when you come into your kingdom. I can do nothing but rely on you. That's what he is looking for, the meek who will inherit the earth. Luke 18, 17. Amen. The meek are those who have been touched by God to recon recognize that they are an enemy of God, need to be reconciled to him, and they couldn't fix the situation. But God in Christ has done it all. Amen. We give him glory today and they, excuse me, and thank him that he is real. If you do that, you will come to know Jesus Christ, not merely as histor as a historical figure, but as a living reality in your daily life. Amen. He'll change everything, not by your effort, not by you changing something, but by him moving into his home, which is your heart, and redecorating the place from within. That's on him. You just get to enjoy the ride. Amen. I love that. Thank you.